Need a DIY way to upgrade your boring fireplace? Let me show you how with Glen Gary Thin Bricks. If you have a TV in this area like we did, that will need to be removed, along with any mountings and the old mantle and stone. You can simply remove old tile using a chisel and a hammer. Next, you'll want to remove the old cement board and any of the damaged drywall, replacing that drywall with paperless drywall. Because I plan on breaking the entire wall, I also removed the top molding. The inside of the fireplace is also going to get a little makeover with high heat resistant spray paint. To kick off the brick installation, we started with our corner pieces. The Glengarry Thin Brick Series only requires a non-sag adhesive to apply them to the wall. No messy mortar required. Be sure to use a generous speed of adhesive and leave a 3 8 inch gap in between your bricks for your mortar lines later. Once you're ready to start with your flat pieces, you may need to cut a few to size. We simply used our wet saw with a diamond blade to make this process simple and dust free. Once we got to the area where we wanted our mantle, we went ahead and placed it so that we could continue bricking around it. Y'all, I'm already loving the look of this brick. We went with the Glen Gary Washington color brick. It's from their Black Hill series, and it's the perfect mix of modern and rustic that we were looking for. But they have a ton of other color and style options for you to choose from. The thin brick has the same size, texture, and colors of real brick because it is real brick, just cut thin. We also went ahead and mounted our TV mount onto a scrap piece of 1x4 board. This way, when the TV sat back onto the mount, it was still flush with the wall. Installing these thin bricks was so simple, I'm shocked at how fast the whole entire process went. Any DIYer can handle this project with ease. We haven't even added our mortar lines yet and I'm already in love, y'all. Make sure to let your adhesive sit according to the manufacturer's instructions. Once you're ready to begin with your mortar lines, mix up your mortar according to manufacturer's instructions. After your mortar is properly mixed in the right consistency, like a frosty shake, go ahead and fill a piping bag with the mortar mix. Now you're ready to use the mortar to fill in the mortar lines. I did horizontal runs and then went back and did the small vertical ones. This process went super smooth and quick. It's kind of like icing a cake, except you don't want to eat this one. Let your mortar sit until it is about beach sand texture dry. Then you're gonna to wanna to use a concave striking tool to pack the mortar in. Do all of your vertical lines first this time and then your horizontal runs second. This way you have smooth, flawless lines. Now all that's left is to brush off any excess mortar with a stiff brush. Then step back and look at your masterpiece. I could not believe how simple it was to install this Glen Gary Thin Brick and this Washington color is absolutely gorgeous and timeless, and it fits our home's theme perfectly. I hope y'all love this DIY fireplace makeover as much as I did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time on Home Talk.